Alrighty then, welcome back to another repentance run. It's a little exciting. It's been a little little bit. It's been a day or two. And, uh, well, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, I've been a little, uh, dismayed. Dissuade? Something along those lines. Uh, sure, we can we can hold on to it. No, 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 no. We can, we, we, nah, we'll hold on to Roku Revelation. It's not going to use it so that way the boss doesn't become a, uh, horseman. And then we get, like, ball of bandages or cube meat or something like that we kind of want the ball side and drops but anyway as i was saying i've been having a relatively long day for the last couple of days i kind of found some full-time employment because well gotta have that money you know <laughs> uh but i'm slowly working on it and honestly i should probably be doing these videos and stuff like that before i actually go in for work or anything because i do have a few hours beforehand uh this morning i actually just ended up taking instead of doing that i ended up taking a walk through the uh the woods I was just like looking at all the different trees and stuff, just just noting what's around. Saw a bunch of oaks, saw a bunch of poplars, which funny enough, one thing I learned about my state uh, here over here on the East Coast, apparently it is known for its exportation of poplar wood, like all throughout the world. It's like, wow, I, that's something I didn't know. Man, I don't know if anybody else lives in, a, in the States, but what, 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 what's a, an amusing fact that nobody else would really know? Of course, I'm over here in Maryland, and yeah, I didn't know that we exported poplars, pop, poplar wood, like at all. And I was like, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Mm, sure, we can go ahead and take Squeezy here and all the soul hearts and pop that. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go down to the next floor. I don't feel like going through the rest of this, this floor. Save these soul hearts for the double deal on this floor. Yeah, doing pretty good. Oh, my goodness. I'm honestly super tired. I had something like... What what time is it now? Let me look. Oh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a couple hours to upload. Mm, I could probably get this video out for, for today. Today being a Tuesday. It is Tuesday, right? Hold on, give me a second. No, it's Wednesday. Oh, my goodness. I'm a day off. <laughs> uh, you know I've been busy. Unfortunately, it is not the good time of, kind of busy that I wanted. I wanted more of a... Uh, you know, oh my, working on my projects and stuff kind of busy. Harley Quinn, baby, yay, come along. We don't have really any money to make uh, the shop worth it at all, so not going to really bother going inside there. This way, underlay, underlay. Jump, you spider, jump. But how's everyone else been doing so far? It's been, it's been a hot second. Normally, I would have done a little bit of a comment at the end of the boss there. If you're new here, uh... Welcome, I hope you stick around for a little bit. But, uh, there haven't been any new comments recently. Which is fine. Watch how you want. Interact how you want. I don't mind. I did notice that my viewership did go up a little bit. I've been putting a little more work into it. I don't know. Who knows what's really happening anymore these days. Constantly lost. But one thing, uh... As I was saying, how I like walked through the the woods today. Uh, honestly, I was looking, just seeing what kind of trees went over there because I've been having. I don't. I don't know if anybody really remembers or really cares or noses about me, but when I hyper fixate on something, I, I kind of go hard on it. Like I do a bunch of research. I go all throughout the entirety of like the history of whatever it is I'm researching, and you know all that kind of all that kind of good stuff. And I've I've been looking at the American chestnut, and it was kind of fascinating, like how. How much of a good thing the American chestnut was? Ooh, I almost walked right into that. How much, uh, you know, the how much the economy at the time was dependent on the chestnut? How much food it provided for people? Because apparently you could also grind it up into a uh, a powder and make flour out of it. Mm, I kind of want both of these. I'm not gonna lie. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, do we want to go back? Not really. Hmm. We should go down alt path. Because one, we have flying. And two, uh, the mirror dimension will give us extra charges on our book of revelations here. Giving us more soul hearts. But uh, unfortunately, it is a curse of the lost. Well, we found the mirror dimension very fairly quickly. So we just need to find the... Find the boss room. So that way we can go through the mirror dimension and, you know, have safe travels and... Get ourselves some more charges here. But unfortunately, I went a little too close, and that bomb fly exploded right on me. But it's, it's give, give me uh, give me some slack, guys. It, it's been what two days? 
My, my last video was on Monday. Yeah, it's been two days. I'm a little rusty here. <laughs> uh, you know, one thing I could do when I wake up in the morning, since I have a couple hours, is actually start streaming again after I've, like, made my video. Relax doesn't do anything for us. But, hey, who knows. I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. I, I actually have been working on uh, some other Pokemon openings, so I've, I've ordered some stuff. I don't know. I did release one video. I'm pretty sure people have seen that. Or at least seen it in their feeds. And uh, I've got some others already pre-recorded. So I got everything done. I just need to, you know, actually release it. And I put up a schedule and whatnot and all, for all that. So when I say I'm getting things done, I'm actually actually doing it. Which is funny because... Ooh, bomb flies, get out of here. Ah, you jerk. Bomb's razor. We just had to start with you, didn't we? Unfortunately, Ocular Rift is kind of messing us up a little bit. Uh, mystery item or number one. Number one will lower our range by a lot, but it does increase our fire rate. Mm, I'll go with mystery item. Oh, and it's mystery sack. Hmm, interesting. Now what we should do, realistically, is actually go back and, since we're so low of HP, go back to this white fire that's over here. And turn into the lost form. So we get the holy mantle shield effect. So it, we're essentially two hit instead of one. And be very cautious of that purple fire. Because we do not want that homing shot to hit us. Especially since if we don't have the holy mantle effect. Slowly take these enemies out. But yeah, I've been like super hyper fixated on... I don't know, when I, I tend to talk about agriculture quite a bit, and that's one of the things I've been, like, focused on. And I completely forgot that we didn't have the... We didn't have the lost form. Unfortunate. So this could have been a very dangerous room if I wasn't paying attention. Which I kind of half wasn't. Get him, Harley Quinn, baby, go! Yeah, there we go. And we get the Hanged Man, which is absolutely useless for us, because we already have flying. Mm, hold on to Mercurium. See inside of here. Chaos would be nice, but we don't have a bomb. And honestly, if we get one more cent, I'll probably buy the battery. Hmm. Spend a little more time going back. This is going to be a long floor, for anyone that's wondering. But we'll slowly get it done here. Whether we win or lose, I have a feeling this is going to be a fun run. Mostly because we got Ocular Rift. It's an item that I absolutely love. Uh, even though it did kind of cause us to take a little bit of damage by moving the bomb flies uh, flight pattern around a little bit. But I still love it nonetheless. It's a very fun item to get enemies. It's kind of a very good crowd control item. Especially if you can get it to proc fairly often. It's a block poop right here. Giving us that concussive effect. Which is from our trinket. Honestly. Okay, so we have a penny here. So we do... Oh, look at that. We get lots of money. Wow. Get him, Harley Quinn, baby. A boss with a big hitbox. Finally. Your time to shine has come. Hmm, unfortunately. There's nowhere for us to go from there. Uh, I'm actually going to hold off on using the Book of Revelations here because if we do end up getting a Devil Deal, we can actually rob an item for free and still have 1 HP. Because as soon as you pick the item up, you use the Bible, so that way it doesn't immediately kill you. And we do get it. Okay, interesting. Well, let's look inside here. And we get Ceremonial Robes, which is fine by me. Uh, hmm. Which will give us three Black Hearts. Maybe I should have taken Book of the... No, that would have killed us. Because then we would have couldn't been couldn't use uh, Book of Revelations. Alright, alright. Well, I guess that's fine enough for me. Uh, not going to touch that for the Bookworm effect. Mostly because, well, I just want the HP. But let's go back and buy the battery. Go through the Mirror Dimension and then beat the boss and head on down to the next floor. Wow. This run definitely take took a little bit of a turn. If I do get the money, I will come back and get Chaos. But for right now, I think we're fine with what we have. 
But as I was saying, getting some ceremonial robes here is actually pretty big for us. Getting that extra damage up is going to be fantastic. And, well, honestly, the only thing I would really want for the rest is run. I mean, now that we have our HP situation a little, a little more well organized, uh, is actually fire rate. You know, our, well, we could also use a little movement speed. I'm just looking at our stats here real quick. And, you know, 0.9 movement speed ain't the best in the world. Do we got to go down or do we go to the left? I don't really quite remember. Nope. We found Sloth again. Get out of here, nerd. Or give me a hero font card. One of the two. Nope, it's a cherry card. Close enough. I'll, I'll accept it. This will save us a hit if we go against the boss and get that BS attack pattern again. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the key piece. I'll just see where we're at. I don't feel like we're going to be fighting Mother today, even though she's been uh, kicking my butt a little bit in the last couple of uh, runs that I've done. But hey, you never know. We just need one more penny we can actually get Chaos. Hmm, but do I actually want Chaos? That's the thing. Not really too sure. However, our boss item drop that we got earlier was actually a huge save for us, giving us a little bit of a range up, but more importantly, it gave us three soul hearts, which is huge. Considering that we needed the HP and all that. Alright, let's get in here. Colostomy. Not a very fun boss, I'm going to be honest. A, kind of an easy boss if you kind of drag it across the uh, the corners here. And then not really have to worry about the... Uh-oh. I was a little scared. I had to pop the chariot card there because I didn't know that the gas was going to hurt us or not. Okay, I gotta focus. Focus! You got this. Oh! He died really quickly. Uh, that's one of the benefits of having Ocular Rift, honestly, that I found, is that it, it does deal damage as it's, you know, being procced as well. Kind of the same as, like, Black Hole. Which, honestly, Black Hole, I love that item. I'm, I'm one of those weird one, weird guys that kind of like pretty much every item in the game. There's, there's very few items that I don't like because I kind of like my synergies. And, well, synergies are everything in this game. That, that, that makes a lot of fun. And Ocular Rift, if we get some form of high fire rate, like whether it be almond milk, soy milk, or, you know, just something else, we should be sitting pretty. With getting, into, getting it to proc very often. And honestly, we should be trying to make our way to Hush as fast as we can. So that way we can actually fight him. Because Ocular Rift is actually a huge uh, Hush counter. No, uh, no, no, no. We don't need that. We'll stick with our trinket here. Meconium. Turning has a like I think it said a thirty percent chance, yeah, thirty three percent chance of turning uh, poops into black poops, which does that you know concussive effect, which is very handy if you're trying to do any form of room clear or anything like that. Hey, I like it. Excuse me, sir. Throw your brimstone, please. Brimstone. Hey, there you go. How do you like that mom's razor effect? And we're gonna drop it for petrified poop because it's a little better. I didn't even know that. Uh, Glutton there actually I probably pronounce I forget the name of the boss, but I, I didn't even know that they would drop trinkets And we got the petrified poop. Did he like try to eat it and then swallow it because I know he can also drop less than three Which is an HP upgrade, which I probably wouldn't have taken considering that we're max HP Hmm We may end up going alt path just so that way we can get, go through the one um uh, one floor a little bit quicker. The womb, womb floors. And a dead end. Unfortunate. Come up, sir. <sighs> this is why I hate host hats. They just take up so much time. It's like, please, I'm trying to make it to Hush. I want to go fight them. It's been, it feels like it's been forever. Awas. Bunch of Awas runes. Hmm, interesting. Maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I can use a bomb here. Grab that. I'm going to leave Buddy in the box. I don't actually... Well... No, 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 no. We, 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 we do want Conjoin. Because then the more tiers that we have, the more... The more goodness that we have. Uh, Awaz is good. We need to find here? Yeah, there we go. Found the trap door. Had to find a little doodad on the floor. We get Spoonbender, which is homing. Oh my goodness. Now we definitely do want Conjoin. Now, if you don't know, what Conjoin does is that it gives you a little bit of a damage down. Which, if you think, oh, that's a bad thing, eh, it's alright. Yara. Algis. Algis. I mean, we could use the Algis rune here to just, you know, pay this dude. Hey, look at that. The Cancer Trinket. Oh, I used the air rune by accident. Uh, I don't feel like going any further. I'll just hold on to the Algis rune. I don't feel like spending any more time there. I kind of want to go a little faster. And as I was saying, the conjoined effect gives you three streams of tears, but they lower your damage, which does sound a little bit bad. But since we have homing, we can actually get maybe two or even all three streams, you know, effectively double or not doubling, but tripling our DPS. I mean, technically, it's a little bit of a damage down, but if you get more than one tier hitting an enemy, then, well, it's, it's, it's just a straight DPS upgrade. I don't know, it's this nice soul heart here. Thank you. We do have a key for our item room, fortunately. And it is Dark Bomb. Oh my goodness. We are just getting, like, everything. Even though I would kind of prefer getting some form of tears up here. Or even a movement speed. Because, well, we got a long ways to go. And, well, it's going to take us a while to get there. <laughs> got to fight Peep here. Essentially, we're just going to stay on the other side of these rocks. Not have to worry about him too much. Maybe have Ocular Rift hit him a bit. We do need to watch out for the little peep eyes coming across. But since we have uh, Spear of the Night, we have Spectral Shots. So that's why I'm able to stay on the side of the rocks. Uh, Blood Oath, fine. It's not a very good item, but yeah. We'll go ahead and go down. No, wait, I was supposed to go all path. No! Oh, we get an XL4. That's not too bad. If we can find the boss rooms and a teleport card of some kind, whether it be from, you know, the Tenant Skull or something like that, we can get into the mom fight and teleport out and then be on our way, merry way, to fight, uh, to fight Hush. Man, it feels like it's been forever. I really want to go beat him up. Go punch that nerd. Give me that full card, and we just need to find the boss room now. Okay, I went the wrong way. Eh, we got a few minutes. We can probably beat Mom within... As long as we get there by 18 minutes, we should be fine. Because I do want to try to see what's inside Boss Rush, even though many times I've said that Boss Rush really isn't, like, most of the time even worth it. Which is funny, considering that I'm, like, trying to go real fast here. But hey, an extra item is an extra item. I guess. And we do actually find the boss room super fast. Wow. I mean, we do have to go through two bosses, so gotta be a little fast here. It's gonna, first one's gonna be Fallen. Okay, okay. I see you, game. I see you. We'll get ourselves a nice little devil deal here once we've beaten the Fallen. Maybe, hmm, put in your predictions on what I'm gonna get. Well, hopefully it is something related to well, we can't get any form of fire rate. Birthright? Three random items? Alright. <laughs> we get Incubus, which not only gives us an extra shooter. Don't say that in a school zone. Uh, but it also gives us... Uh, conjoined. Which is fantastic for us. You know what? I may actually do Boss Rush since we have so much time. Uh, give me the negative for damage. And we fight Krampus. Fun. You can hear my enthusiasm whenever we see him. I mean, Lumpicole is not bad. Don't get me wrong. <sighs> These are all just terrible. What is this? Cards Against Humanity? Sure. The Joker? Ah, we don't need that. 
But yeah, how's everybody been? How's the kids? This is going to take us a little while. We're on the second phase. It's going to be a total of 13. I mean, not that it's going to take us all that long. Because, well, we have Conjoined. We have Incubus. So we're shooting a total of three, three shots every single time. So this should be really fast. We're on what the fourth phase now? Yeah, we're we're flying, we're flying, we're bing chilling. A lot of my friends have been playing uh, Path of Exile recently. I haven't really been too into it. I'm actually kind of busy, you know, besides doing the whole YouTube thing, but just generally in real life, which is a little upsetting because well, I kind of wanted to focus more on this for a little bit longer, or at least for a year, just to see where I could end up. I'm still you know, flabbergasted I got to where I am now. Thanks to all you beautiful people out there. Parental treatment it lowered our shot speed, which is fine by me. Oh my goodness, this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to. I guess it's a good time for anyone to, you know, take a second, get yourself something to drink. This is, I guess, is your hydration warning. It's been almost 20 minutes, 21 minutes into the recording, 19 minutes in game. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. Get some hydration. It's very important. Also, don't forget to stretch if you've been sit standing or sitting at your uh, computer for a long time. You know, everyone says, oh, you need to hydrate. Well, getting blood clots in your legs is just as dangerous. So let this be a warning or not really a no warning, but a notification. Man, the only thing that would make this run better, I have to say, is soy milk. And he just straight up whipped us real good. Wow. I was not expecting this to me to do that. All right, we're past the 20-minute mark. Unfortunately, we did not beat Balls Rush fast enough, and we get Black Candle. <laughs> Thank you, Chaos. All right, let's go back, find our item rooms, and thankfully I used the World Card while we're inside Balls Rush, so that way I can find our way there very quickly. And thanks to the fact that we have an XL floor, we're going to be schmoving pretty fast towards a Hush. Because I definitely do want to go say and give him a little bit of a hello. It's been it's been a second there, Hush. I gotta go in and give you a little gob smacking. And Candy Heart's not too bad. With the conjoined effect of Blood Oath? Yeah, Blood Oath. We can actually combine the two of them because Blood Oath is gonna reduce our HP every single well, our red heart HP every single time we go into a new floor. And it's going to give us, you know, increase of stats for that. Mainly, people look for damage. Uh, do I want to go into the shop? Yeah, we can go into the shop. We don't really have that many keys, but... Bleh. Hold on to the full card for the next four. And oh my goodness, is that a tears up? Finally. Give me a little more la moula. And... The reason why I say Candy Heart and Blood Oath work so well together is because, well, every time you pick up a Red Heart, Candy Heart gives you stats. Now, it's very, very minor stats, mind you. Very, very small stats. However, they they stack up very quickly if you're constantly getting rid of your Red Heart HP. And since we have two of them, we can uh, fill up pretty quickly. That is if the game ever wants to like, drop Red Heart HP. That's, that's the thing. You are a little bit at the whim of the game. But... If you also get Soul Locket, then you basically have, like, every form of HP stat up gains that you can get in the game. Which has actually happened here before. Where I've had all three. No, give me that red heart. See? We got .02 speed and .02 shot speed. Which, again, doesn't seem like a whole lot. But, you gotta remember, that's from one heart. How many times in a run have you had to refill, like, a bunch of hearts? I mean, that is... I'm pretty sure you guys are god gamers and don't ever get hit. But... You can also donate to a blood donation, demon beggar, something like that. And you have any way of like getting a bunch of HP, a red heart HP. Uh, sure, we can take a lost soul. And I don't really care for the rest of these. I mean, we'll take butt bombs. I know that kind of destroys the combo that we just had, but bleh. <laughs> That's my response. Bleh. 
And we get PhD. Thank you, Lost Soul Buddy. Balls of steel? I'll hold on to it. In case we need it. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love homing in this game. Whether it be through, I don't know, some god tier item like Sacred Heart or some other item. Uh, we can blow this blow this guy. Hey, $20 is $20. But yeah, whether it be through some god tier item, whether it be Oh, no, 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 this is a tears up pill. What am I what am I doing? Good thing we had to come back this way. Uh, some god tier item like Sacred Heart, Godhead, or just from, you know, your basic homing, whether it be Ooh, this ain't too bad inside of here. To be honest, I was not expecting him to jump out like that. You got me this time, Pin. Or just from, like, the regular item of Spoonbender itself. Which, most of the time, I prefer having Spoonbender. Curved Horn. Ooh. That would be good, but I kind of want to keep Cancer right now. Getting that increase to fire rate is so nice. Now, if only we had some method of gulping this trinket. Game, that's, uh, that's your cue to give me a gulp pill. Thank you very much. And we have gone the wrong way. Wow. Who would have thought that the boss would have been south and not east? Yeah, we, we, we definitely need that. Like, look look at that, that difference. That's a huge amount of difference. Ace of Diamonds yet again. We can go inside of here. Oh, well... Obviously, there's no enemies inside here. Maybe I should have broken a uh, fistula there. If you didn't know, if you need spiders a little quickly, uh, Keratoma, the little familiar that we have flying around us that's giving us spiders, you can actually run them into those uh, spike rocks. Actually deal a little bit of damage. Man, look at Pin fly. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's the musical, When Pins Fly. Man, we are just absolutely rolling in money. It's unfortunate that we haven't really had much use for our shops this run. I mean, they have kind of helped us a little bit, as you can see. Oh, Aka Rift doing absolute numbers. And down we go to fight Hush. Go beat him up. Get revenge. Give him a dunk, a big old swirly. Because he's a huge nerd. Alright, let's check inside here first. Bloody Gust ain't bad, I'm not going to lie. Let's buy that. This is a, just a straight up tears up for us. I'll grab it. Uh, I'm half tempted to buy that tarot card, but let's, let's see what's inside all of this first. Open everything. <laughs> you spoil me, game. You spoil me. Uh, oh my goodness. What a good day. And we do need to actually give back a little bit into our donation machine. I mean, yeah, it's at 500 cents, but, you know, you might as well stay ahead, win ahead. Speaking of which, for those of you that are still here, if you are actually uh, still within, like, your 20s, your early 20s or whatever, there's something I've been uh, doing recently, which is actually watching some financial stuff, even though I'm kind of past that point. You know, I'm almost in my 30s now unfortunately but uh, what you should be doing is actually trying well I shouldn't really be giving any form of financial advice but definitely look into what it is that you should be doing for your retirement like you know people always answer like your Roth IRAs and then taking that money that's in the Roth because it acts kind of the same as a savings account and then you know investing it into something because by the time you're ready for retirement you're gonna have a few million dollars by a few million, I mean somewhere between three and six, depending on how much you put into it and all that other jazz, which is confusing. But it is something, if you're in your early 20s, is something you want to definitely do. Even before that, you know, financial freedom is something that people definitely take way too much for, uh, not granted, but don't take into consideration. Yeah, I would very much, I kind of messed up in that department. Everybody was telling me, do it, do it. I was like, ah, I'll put it off. No, don't put it off. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to work an extra 10 to 15 years to actually before I can actually retire. And look at Ocular Rift just going. 
Just taking out Hush. This is why I love Ocular Rift. No! Lost soul, buddy. Oh, big old rip. I'm so sad. Maybe we'll go fight Delirium. Yeah, let's go fight Delirium. We have uh, Balls of Steel Pill. I think we'll be fine. We have Twisted Pear. We have Incubus. The only thing we're really missing now is BFF. I'm going to be honest. Look how fast we took out Hush. If we had some form of other, like, I don't know, tier... Tier effect, like Holy Light, Euthanasia, Apple. That would be pretty, pretty dang good. I'm not going to lie. That would just take this... Right now, the run is sitting at... I would guess somewhere maybe like an... I don't know. An A. It's a good run. Don't get me lot. Don't get me wrong. It is a very good run. And I wish more runs were like this. But it's definitely one of those runs that are just like... Ah, you could always wish for a little more. Just, just, just one soy milk, please. One, one almond milk. The tick, no thank you. I want to keep this fire rate. Even though the tick is pretty good, if you have seen the my attempt at Onan's. The Onan streak. Or not Onan streak, but, you know. The challenge, Onan's. One makes you small? Sure, we'll take it. Uh, you'll find that... It was pretty good for us, even though that that one kind of turned up a little, little uh, spicy at the end there. Not not to spoil it if anybody hasn't seen it. We do get trinket smelter. Oh my goodness, give me that, give me all that goodness. Okay, we're definitely gonna go back for this this trinket back here. Give me that tick. Now that we can gulp it, ugh. That still still gets me. Saying that we're gonna gulp gulp the tick. Hmm. And not the blue blue dude. That cartoon that people... Uh, no, we don't need to take that. Alright, let's see what's inside here. Is it Delirium? No, it's Loki. Alright, well I guess we're just going to be trying to find... Goathead is a... Uh, a dollar short and a day late. It would have been very nice. Same with that trinket. It would have been very nice at the beginning of the run. I mean, we'll go ahead and hold on to it. We're not going to be doing a victory lap or anything like that since we're already down here in the uh, the ye old delirium floor. But yeah, financial freedom is definitely very, very nice. And I am going to be spending an extra decade. Learn from me, youngins. Learn from me. This is your, your call. Oh, look at that. We get a teleport. Deep pockets doesn't really do anything for us, and we only have we have zero or three for the spun transformation. So experimental treatment is just a bad bad get here. Just more money. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna be trying to fling our ways through these rooms as fast as we can. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm leaving. My goblin loot brain is screaming at me as well. I want I want to collect these consumables as much as possible, but it's already 30 minutes in. My voice is starting to die here. It's starting to hurt. And I have a long day. It's, you know, almost 8.30. I, I gotta get the video out. I don't have really much more to talk about. Oh, Fruity Plum! Welcome, you big old cutie. Now, you got Sinvicta with his, uh... Sissy. But I really like Fruity Plum. Fruity Plum, to me, is just a big old cutie. Just sit there and it's all happy-like. It's a transformation get for Beelzebub. So you can get flying. It's a good early game item. It helps quite a bit, honestly. When fighting enemies, when she gets in there, you give her BFF and she's just a big old chunkin' ball of love. Man, where is Delirium? Don't tell me he's all the way on the left side of the... the floor. Please don't tell me he's all the way over there. Alright. Has, uh, has anyone else had any really amazing runs recently? If you've made it this far? Definitely, uh, definitely let me know. And what, how, how good was that run? What, how does it compare to this one? Did you go fight Delirium yourself? Or did you go and use it for unlocks? Give me that. Even though it's completely pointless. Oh man, Ocular Rift should actually help us here. No, Lost Soul, buddy! Unfortunate. 
I really like picking up Lost Soul Buddy and trying to keep him alive. And I do honestly try to keep keep him alive as much as possible because, well, there's been more than one instance where he has uh, given me Sacred Heart. Which is a very, very good item. But yeah, as I was saying, have you have you had a really good run recently? Did it, did it compare to this? Did it blow this one out of the water? It probably did. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, if we had, like, the apple or soy milk or euthanasia or holy light or something like that, this, this run would be, like, an A to, like, an S. Not, like, an S+, plus, just an S. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I'm going to take my tired butt and try to do a relatively decent thumbnail, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.